So now that you've watched the introduction video on your phone, obviously, and your little holder here, um, we're now going to move on to do a couple more exercises. So again, just getting into our rhythm, getting warmed up, okay? We're going to hold on if we need to. If you want to push a bit harder, sometimes you can hold on. Just get those legs going and warmed up. Now we're going to focus on a little bit more technique, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to try and keep our hands forwards. And we want to get that pressure almost near the balls of our feet, okay? So we don't want to be on our heels, kind of classic British style of skiing, you know, with the, the bum out, pushing the heels out. We want to be a little bit further forwards onto the balls of our feet. Feel the burn right in the top, uh, the top of the thighs here, just above the knee, okay? So hands forwards over the top of the machine, feeling that weight and that pitch forwards a little bit more. A little bit of bend at the hip here, okay? So lower back at an angle, hands over, and then driving that way. You wanna rest your elbows on the machine there. A little bit of balance you can, but make sure that weight's forwards. Easier to do by hanging them over. We're gonna do that for around 30 seconds at a time, maybe up to a minute. Then you have a quick rest, back to a little bit more gentle, easy, okay? Get your breath back. Nice breathing. And then we're gonna go back into it for another 30 seconds. So you'll be back in here, 30 seconds. And then we're gonna take it easy again, okay? So that's one exercise for you to do, really practice that, getting that feeling underneath the balls of your feet, that weight forward inside your ski boots, and that muscle memory. So that's another exercise. Next one we're gonna move on to is using our poles. So, take a little deep breath. So now we're gonna use our poles. We're gonna work on that slight difference of separation in the upper body. So, whoop, one to practice with. So, when we're down in this side of the turn, what we really need to remember is that that is gonna be the outside foot. So we need to be planting the left pole. When we're down this side, obviously it's the outside, left foot is the outside ski, we're going to be planting our right pole. So, a little bit of a warm-up idea, but just think of opposites. So, right foot, left pole. Left foot, right pole. And then try and link it together. So, bang, 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 bang. Just practice that. The opposites, pole plants. Give that a little practice. You find you get out of rhythm, which you can do when you're getting used to it. Just reset and just focus on one side at a time. So, right, 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 and then left, 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 and then we're gonna bring it together. So, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. And we're just gonna keep practicing that until we get better at it and we get a bit more rhythm. And then we're gonna bring that forward motion in as well. So. It's gonna be really reaching with that pole, like you would in a high speed turn, okay? Just bringing it all together, just improving that technique. And that's how we bring poles in to the ski simulator. Now we're gonna chuck some ski boots on and show you how the binding attachment works. So we've got ski binding attachment, really easy to change if you need to uh, for different people in the household who've got different size ski boots, just a very, very quick uh, adjustment. So really easy to do. Uh, this gives us now independent movement of the feet, okay? So when we're doing our turns side to side, it'll feel a little bit strange initially if you just jump from trainer plates to the ski boot binding, it'll feel a little bit awkward, a little bit strange. It takes a little bit of getting used to a few minutes. So independent feet now, so remember that. So we're just gonna start loosely, okay, going side to side, okay? Um, just getting that rhythm back in like we did practicing before, just getting used to the fact that we've now got ski boots on. We feel a slight different uh, resistance in the way the machine works, okay? So when your boots on, you're a little bit higher, you've got a little bit more leverage, and also you've got a little bit more weight. You've got you know, a kilo and a half or so per foot, depending on how heavy or old your ski boots are, or how new and light they are, but you've got a little bit more weight coming through. So just getting into it, okay? Again, hold the bar if you need to. I find this picks out if you're a more dominated skier on one side. So I would say I'm naturally a little bit more dominant on this side, find that easier to do than on this side, okay? That comes out a little bit more when you've got the boots on. So again, just working that side to side and you're gonna find that slight separation. So when you're down in the bottom of the turn, this time your bottom foot, the kind of leading turning foot on the outside of the turn, is gonna be a little bit further back 
and the inside leg is going to be a little bit further forward. So I'm just going to exaggerate that a little bit now. Okay. So again, just like I did, just looking down, make sure you're getting that rotation, everything looks good. Once you're happy, get your head forward again, chin up as if you were skiing. I'm working on bringing that separation and the feet working independently a little bit more on those bindings. So just gonna keep practicing that. You could bring in all the other exercises that we did earlier into wearing the ski boots to make and vary your exercise a little bit more. And there we are. That's how the ski bindings work on the Pro Ski Simulator. See you next time.